I actually, and, and hear me, I mourn for Trump. Because, you know, I'm a Christian. I mourn for him. I don't hate him. I pity him. When a person can get up in the morning, as president of a country, with all of that power, and all you can think of to do is be mean and hurt people and take folks' health care knowing they're going to die and lie about it. I mourn. The time, there are mornings I mourn him. I, I, I feel sorry for him. And, and the reason I feel sorry for him, and this is going to sound strange, because I get to the place where, where, where the psalmist got in um, the Psalms, 139, when, when the psalmist said, Lord, I want you to dash the baby, my enemy's baby's head against the rock. And then it was almost as though something caught the psalmist and said, wait a minute, Lord, because whatever one human does, it's possible for another one to do. Y'all better hear me tonight. Yeah. But for the grace of God, you can become your enemy. I, I'm, I ain't speaking now. I'm talking prophetically now. You can, you can become your enemy. Anything you see another human being do, that potential is in you. But for the grace of God. And that's why the psalmist stepped back a minute. The psalmist was real arrogant. Kill him, Lord. Kill him. Kill him. And he said, wait a minute, Lord. You know my down setting. You know my uprising. Huh? If I take the wings of the morning and fly to the uttermost parts to see you right there. If I go make my bed in Sheol, you're right there. So, Lord, I need you to do something. Search me, Lord. <laughs> Search me. Don't ever dislike somebody so much that you don't realize some of what you see them doing lies in you too. But for the grace of God. And that's why every morning we repent and do what? The old saints in my church used to say, say, Lord, I need you to help me. Help me on my way. Help me every day. Lord, I need you.